Thank you for tuning in to Truth Media TV. In this video, we're going to be talking about an issue that touches near to home for many Jamaicans and basically any hardworking citizen of a third world or developing country. If you have ever wondered why the money you make from your job doesn't exactly reflect the effort that you put into it, or if you have ever wondered why people in other parts of the world, you know, the more developed countries like the US, Canada, and the UK seem to make more money for the same type of job, then you should definitely keep watching this video because we're going to be talking about a very important concept called purchasing power parity or PPP. This is a concept that will give you a better understanding of the value of the money you earn for a living and whether or not the money you are paid at work is reasonable and fair. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, the phrase purchasing power parity or PPP might sound like it comes straight out of a fancy finance textbook, but I got you covered. I'm going to explain it in a way that everyone will be able to understand. First, I'm going to give you the official definition of PPP and then I will provide a simpler explanation that is easier to understand. So here's the official definition. Purchasing power parity is a theoretical exchange rate that allows you to buy the same amount of goods and services in every country. No, in other words, it is a special exchange rate that allows us to figure out how much things would cost in different countries if all countries used the same exchange rate. Now, imagine you and a friend each have money to spend, but the things that you can buy vary because of where you live. That is where PPP steps in. PPP is a special way to measure the value of money in different countries. Think of it as a universal exchange rate that makes sure that one currency is not more powerful than the other, sort of like leavening the playing field for everyone. We all know that the prices of goods and services are different from country to country, and this makes comparisons between countries very difficult. I mean, how would you know if your salary as a Frontex agent is on a level playing field with the salary of a Frontex agent in the United States of America? This is where you use PPP to help you understand the actual value of your money, even though you live in a different country that has different factors influencing the price of goods and services. Purchasing power parity shows you how much your money can really buy no matter where you are in the world. It's like a magnifying glass that shows you exactly how strong your income really is. So no matter where you're working, whether it's in Jamaica, the United States of America, or any place else, your purchasing power remains the same. Now, let us break this down a little bit. Imagine a front desk agent in the USA. They earn enough money to cover a mortgage, a car, utility bills, and even they have some left over each month for savings. Now, if we apply the same idea to a front desk agent in Jamaica, they should be able to do all these things comfortable. It is not fair if one can do it while the other can't. And we're going to use a concrete example to explain everything in detail so that you can understand exactly how purchasing power parity works. We'll use the average annual income of a Frontex agent in the hotel industry as a demonstration. This is important because Jamaica's, Jamaica um, is dependent on tourism as a primary source of foreign exchange, which has a big impact on the GDP. In order to determine whether or not the earnings of the Frontex agent in Jamaica are fair, we want to determine the amount of money that they should make based on purchasing power parity, and then we compare that now to the amount 
that they are actually making. So, we will use statistics from the World Bank, the Bureau of Labor Statistics in the United States of America, and we will also use Glassdoor, you know, and Payscale for our data. So, first of all, we're going to look at purchasing power parity in the United States of America and Jamaica. And, you know, we're doing this because the US dollar is reserve currency and that is used all over the world. It plays an important part in international trade. So that is why we're using the US dollar now, um, the United States of America as the benchmark country for which we are going to do our comparison. So the purchasing power parity of the United States of America, according to the World Bank, as of 2022, that was one. And then for Jamaica, it was 78.48. And then according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics in the United States of America, we estimate that the average annual salary of a front office agent in the United States of America is 30,300 United States dollars. So using these data, we will now be able to calculate an appropriate pay for a Jamaican um, front desk worker. So we have established that the PPP of the United States is one, but for Jamaica, we need now to change Jamaica's PPP to a decimal. We do this by dividing the 78.48 by 100 which gives us 0 0.7848. This 0 0.7848 is our PPP factor. Why is this factor important? Well, we take the salary of a Frontex agent in the United States and we multiply it by this factor. And now this helps us to figure out what a Frontex agent in Jamaica should be earning. Since we know that the average salary of a US Frontex agent is $30,300 US per year, we can use the PPP factor of 0 0.7848 to calculate. When we do the math, we get $23,779.44 US dollars. This is the amount a front desk agent should be earning an average each year in Jamaica. To see what this means in Jamaican dollars, we'll use the exchange rate. Now we know that the exchange rate is one US dollar equals 155 Jamaican dollars. So we multiply the 155 um, by the 23,779.44 to get 3,685,000. $813.20. In simple terms, this means a Frontex agent should be making around 3.68 million Jamaican dollars per year in 2023. Now, how does this compare to what Frontex agents actually make in Jamaica? So, we know that according to Glassdoor, a Frontex agent earns around 400 to 450 Jamaican dollars per hour. And, you know, if we look at uh, the average salaries displayed by like Rio and, and, and Hilton, it's basically the same. So we know that this information is relatively correct. We also look on pay scale as well. 
and it's relatively the same, right? So we know that the average um, salary that a Jamaican front Jamaican front agent earns is about four hundred to four hundred and fifty Jamaican dollars per hour. No, this is their basic pay. Remember, the pay is um, divided by basic pay and gratuity. So the Frontex agents earn gratuity, and that is about 50 to 60% of their basic pay. Where I get this figure from, I, use, I used to work in the hotel industry for 17 years, so I use the gratuity that they pay me as a measure of my annual gross base pay, and that's what I got, somewhere in the region of 50-60%. Right, but since we're looking at averages, we're going to use the middle number, which is 55%, right? No, we're going to take the basic salary, right? And then we're going to now multiply that, right? By the average gratuity. And then we're going to multiply that by the number of hours that they work in a year, which is 2,080 hours per year. So, you know, that is... 40 hours a week times 52 weeks in the year give you 2,080. So if we add the 400 and the 450, we get 850. If we divide that by two, because we're trying to find the average, we get 425 Jamaican dollars per hour. Then now we multiply the 425 dollars per hour by 1.55. When we get the 1.55 from, remember we are adding the 50%, um, the 55% gratuity. The one is you know, using the base pay and then adding the 55% to it. So we get $658.75 per hour. Then we multiply that now by the total number of hours that someone works per year, which is 2,080. And that gives you an average annual salary of $1,370,000. 200 Jamaican dollars. This is how much, according to the current data, that a front desk agent in Jamaica is making an average per year. And I can tell you that I was making less than that before I negotiated my salary. Right? So let's put that into perspective. A front desk agent in Jamaica should ideally be earning around 3.68 million dollars per year on average when we consider a fair purchasing power but in reality they are only making 1.37 million which means they are six 269 percent worse off than they should actually be and this isn't this isn't just limited to one role. If you are to dig deeper across the various job titles that exist in Jamaica you will see similar discrepancies you see, this is the very reason why the government decided that they're going to give themselves 200 percent increase remember that big fracas regarding the increase in the the, the 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 salaries for the political directed they recognize the gaps in wage fairness and understood that adjustments were necessary to create a balanced marketplace but even though the same issues exist for ordinary Jamaicans like you and me, unfortunately, we didn't get any increase in our earnings. And I'm not talking about an increase in minimum wage. What I am talking about is a comprehensive overhaul of the compensation packages for both public and private sector workers. You might be thinking that, well, hotels can't afford to pay more even though most of them can. But here's an idea for fairness. Let us add a little tweak to the formula. Let's call it a discount. So we're going to give them a discount of about 20%. And this is a way to balance things out and make sure that, you know, everybody go home satisfied. Even if we were to apply a 20% discount to the PPP conversion factor, this would point to Frontex agent earning 2.948 million Jamaican dollars on average. This is just the middle number, not the IN number. 
1.48 million Jamaican dollars every year. But in reality, they are getting 215% less than that. At the very least, it sounds reasonable to think about giving all workers a boost of about 80 to 100%, 120% more on their total earnings. Because when we check out how wages compare in different countries, we see that Jamaicans are putting in a lot of hard work, but we are not getting fair wages. So while we are working really hard and we end up working long hours, especially in the hotel industry, right? We get low pay, fewer perks compared to the people who are in similar roles in developed countries. And this adds up to a whopping 269% gap in how much we can buy with our money. The result is that many Jamaicans find it difficult to move ahead in their own country. It often feels like we are stuck in a system that keeps us financially struggling, a system that has its roots in the past, in the plantocracy. This system has, kept, has been kept going by powerful people, the powerful 21 families that exist in Jamaica, including their puppet politicians who are in positions of government. But the path forward is to educate yourself. If we learn about our rights and what we are supposed to get, because oftentimes the reason why we get these low wages is that people don't know what the job value, they don't know what is the salary range for the positions that they are applying for. So if we arm ourselves with the know-how, then we can talk more effectively about our salaries. We know that the Ministry of Labor and, and Social Security don't really have anything in place to show, you know, what the wages and salaries of for various roles in Jamaica are. But we can use the PPP conversion factor as a smart way to talk about our pay. Because we don't need to know what it values in Jamaica. We can just look at what the, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics has on their website for the position that we want. And we use the PPP conversion factor. And we can apply the discount if we want. And then we can now have a jumping off point for which we can begin to negotiate our salary. So remember, understanding how money works can help us work towards a fairer future for all. We you know, should start learning about how our money works so that our hard work can, can be recognized and we can be properly compensated for the effort that we exert in the companies that we work for. And on that note, thank you for tuning in to Truth Media TV. I hope that you found this lesson on purchasing power parity educational and valuable and that you have learned something that you can use to help negotiate a better salary please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel and as always i'll see you in the next video